Alrighty guys, welcome back to another video today. So, today, number one thing, I got a special guest. This is my mom. Uh, what do you think of the boat so far? I know this is our first day in it. Um, and also, it's a really important thing that now that I have this boat, I can bring guests. So, of course, I had to bring my mom. So, what, what do you think? Well, first of all, I feel like a lucky girl. <laughs> um, and I'm so proud of you, Justin. Uh, the boat is awesome. It's so smooth, no bouncing. Um, it's a beautiful boat. Really, yeah. Um, yeah, so if you guys are not aware, maybe you missed my last video or you don't follow me on Instagram, I would recommend following myself, following, <laughs> following me on Instagram, at Justin underscore Menendez. Um, I got a new boat, and that is courtesy of Tarpon Boatworks. This is the Tarpon Bay 19. It is an absolute beast. Um, but if you did miss my last video, Mercury 175 on the back, Minn Kota Altera up front, it is an absolute beast. This is a 60 mile per hour boat, floats in 10 to 12 inches, and it'll be a boat that I'm gonna be using a lot. I will still be using the Ginu, I must say. But uh, yeah, I think we're gonna try to get my mom on her first tarpon. You've never caught a tar tarpon before? I've never caught a tarpon, and you make it look so easy. <laughs> so come on, Justin. We're gonna try to get her a tarpon, most of all, and uh, try to get something else. I don't know. I'll be happy catching anything today. I haven't done much fishing on this boat. We uh, fished it for a few hours uh, yesterday, actually. Got some snook and some jacks, but no, today's gonna be our, our first real day fishing on it. So first order of business is we have to get mullet. Uh, I'll show you guys something really neat. On this boat, all the switching is done through the Garmin unit. So if I go to, let's see, our gauges, switching. So right here's all my switches. I'm gonna switch on the live well fill. We're gonna start filling up the live well here and prepare for uh, for some mullet. I'm gonna throw the cast net. Hopefully we can get some maybe 10 to 12 inches. Um, and we're gonna load that guy up, run over to our tarpon and hopefully they're rolling and ready to eat. But let's get started. Go ahead, bring that guy out. Grab the trolling motor remote, get this guy on. Did you know that storm is going away from us? Yeah. All right. We just gotta find mullet now. All right, guys, well, I just threw the uh, cast net because I was getting sick of those mullets scurrying around the boat and me being out of reach of them. Blind casted. You guys already know what these are, hopefully. That's a hard head, and we got two good sized spots. These are the best baits you could ask for when it comes to snook fishing. Now, of course, we plan on tarpon fishing, but I don't see why a tarpon wouldn't need a croaker. That water's muddy. That is literally the same water they just came out of. So here, turn that. Uh, are you able to go back to the switches there? Home. And then switching, and then turn on uh, live well fill. All right, let's go. So we got two spots there. Hopefully I can load up on these. If I can load up on these, I guess I'll take these over mullet and we'll go drift them for big snook and stuff. But let's see if I can actually get more of them. I don't think I've ever caught a snook either. You've never caught a, you've caught a snook. I'm surely you've caught a snook at one point or another. Oh, no. Oh, well. Today's the day. <laughs> Terrible, um, terrible. Something in there. Huh? Did I feel something in there? Is it croakers or? Oh. More? Two more. All right. There's spots, but I'll take spots. They don't. Three of three. three. There's a hard head in there too. I think. Four. All right. Four. What's the little guy? Straight mud. That's a mahara. He's too there's small. Five. Five. This is a mahara. Yeah, we're dust. Oh, behind you too. Dusting the spots. So there's two different type of croakers. This is a spot croaker. I'll show you guys the hard head later and compare them, but we'll load these guys up into this live well. This water that they're in is not clean, I'll tell you that. It is muddy, but interesting, I find them here. What about this little guy? Uh, you could throw him back in the water. All right, another day for you. All right, boys, well, we, uh, we loaded up on pogies on this side here. The hose is in there. Let me pull it out. We got low. I know. I wish you could see the bait, but we're about to move into some clearer water. And once these live wells start cycling and getting clear water in there, I'll show you guys the baits we're working with. But pogies loaded up in here. 
spot croakers and I think a few hardhead croakers in there. We got the wash down pump right here. We're gonna use it to try to do our best to clean all this mud out of here. But we got both live wells going, wash down pump. We're gonna try to get this mud out of the boat, mud and grass here. Well guys, I have not picked up this camera since uh, since I got, what did I, since we threw the cast tent and loaded up on bait. So check this out. So we did load up on croakers. We're fully loaded, ready to go here. Check those guys out. Really, really good baits. Now, uh, let me close that. We're gonna try drifting the inlet right now. Uh, hopefully for a snook. I'm gonna try to put my mom on her first, first snook. She says she's never caught a snook before, but are you sure you have never caught a snook? Well, definitely not a big one like uh, the ones you catch. <laughs> uh, Let's go. <laughs> we're going to try to get to the snook here. I don't know how this is going to go. This might be a little hectic. Um, this boat is really a machine for that sort of stuff, uh, for the inlet and running the beach and stuff like that. Um, oh, and our pogies that we got earlier, I had to throw them out. They unfortunately didn't make it even with pumping in uh fresh river water i think maybe they need a round live well pogies are kind of tricky but we got the best baits we could ask for we're gonna go try to catch a snook and uh yeah i'll see you guys on this this little camera what do you think it's gonna be quick you don't maybe? i don't hopefully it might not be quick i mean i might not catch a fish here but i'm hoping <laughs> all right here fast enough gonna hand it to me once you get yeah, it. Yeah, once, once I feel a bite, I'll pass it to you. Will you tell me what to do? <laughs> yeah, you're just gonna reel. <laughs> All right. I know, but sometimes it's, it's don't reel, right? I don't know. Here, you're just gonna, well, don't reel if they're pulling. If the drag's screaming, let them go. Then let them and then once they let stop, then start reeling. Okay. Don't reel, you know, don't reel when the drag's. Okay, well, you just tell me, reel or? Here, hold that for me. Just got it. It's just gonna take me back towards the fenders in reverse. Oh, there's a fish. Here, take the rod, take the rod, take the rod. Take it. Real. Real. Let's hope it's a snook. I didn't. I had a little bit of slack in the line, so I didn't feel the thump. Oh, it's stuck. Push it over. Push it over. Here, here, Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Let it go. Let, let, give me the rod. Give me the rod. All right. You're good. You're good. All right. Walk back here. Fight. <laughs> I'm going to turn you around. Hold on. No, you're good. You're good. Pull tight. Nice. It's a jack. Not a snook, but... Okay, that's a little chaotic. <laughs> yeah, just go over the bow next time. Make sure it doesn't get caught on the trolling motor. All right, am I doing it right? Yeah, here? you're doing it right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Not a bad one. You want to hold them up real quick? Yeah. All right. Heck yeah, second <laughs> drift. How do you, what do you think? <laughs> Pulled really hard. Pulled really hard. Well, he's just a little jack. We're going to try to get a big snook here. All right, so we'll go ahead and Pretty put him cool. back in the water. Yeah. Really cool. Been a while since we've been fishing together. Thanks, Justin. <laughs> All right, we're gonna throw him back and uh, try to get a big snook. All right, next feet. Oh. Here you go. Oh, they just got some on that boat. I don't know what that was though. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, I'm on. That's a snook. I think that's a snook. All right, here, take it. Take the rock, get it. Pull, 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 pull. There you go. 
full, full. I feel, I feel like that's got to be a snook where he ate at. Full, full, full. Yep. Yeah, it's a nice snook. There you go. You got him. I just got to make sure we drift through the fenders here. Yeah, you got him. No problem. No problem. He's taking it, so I let him, right? Yeah, I just let him go. Now real? Yep, real, real, real. It's a nice snook. Nice. Woo! So in season, this looks like it would be a perfect slot, perfect eating fish. Uh-oh. That's a nice snook. <laughs> oh, man. No, you're good right here. Oh, he's got a chunk taken out of him. Here, come, well, come to the bow. Come over to the edge. We get him right here. Here, pull him this way. <laughs> here, open up the bale for me. Uh-huh. I want to have you hold this fish. That's a nice fish. So right here, we got a ruler right on the... Right on the edge of the boat, perfect spot. Uh, zero to 31. In season, that would be a perfect eating fish. <laughs> Unfortunately, not in season, but here, what we're gonna do is unhook them. Okay, don't lose them. Pop that out. I'm gonna lay them on the ground for just one second to make sure I slide through these fenders, okay? You're gonna hold them just like this. Put your thumb in his, yep, just like that. Just for right now. Okay. There you go, and we'll take a picture. Oh we'll take a picture. Your picture. All right. All I right. Get... Let's see him. <laughs> Look, I did it. Heck yeah! That is a nice fish. Very, Just very put... fat and healthy. He's got a gash right there, so we're gonna get this fish back in the water here. But nice job. Oh, he's biting my finger. Did everything except for the thumb. Maybe you can get that too. So, all right, let's get him back in the water. All right. <sighs> And there it is. That was simple and easy, right? How cool. These guys absolutely love croakers, especially in this blue water. Incredible fish. That's exciting. Woo! There he goes back down the bottom. Good job. <laughs> nice fish. Woo! Oh, I'm so dumb. I was holding the button and you needed to double tap it. All right, let's do this. All right, well, we're gonna try to flip some of these docks for some snook. I got these little spots. They are perfect size for pretty much all size snook. I'd say a big snook will eat it, a small snook will eat it. Oh, might get a shot of tarpon. One just, one just rolled over there. If I can get this bait in front of the one, I'll hand you the rod. Oh, right there. Yeah, that was a tarpon. Here, you got it. Oh, here, take the rod, take the rod, come take the rod, come take the rod, come take the rod. Real, 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 <laughs> Oh, did he shake it? No, he's still there. Okay. Let's go. I just said, all right, just keep him tight. Let me tighten that up just a little bit. All right. Let's get this fish. Oh, <laughs> How was that? That feels good. Yeah. All right. Just be careful around the boat here. Real, 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 just a little bit. No, actually, hold him right there. Hold him right there. Pull him this way. Come up. Come up here. Come up here. Come up here. Here, here. Watch the trolling one. Watch the trolling one. Here, give it to me. Toss me. Here, let me just. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, you gotta eat. Here, take it back. It was just on the trolling motor. Watch the trolling. Go around. Go around. Go around the right. Go around the right. Yep. I'm about to stow the trolling motor out of the way. Still come this way. Yep. Just pull him right. Pull him right. You're doing everything right. I'm gonna pull the trolling motor out of the water so we don't. <laughs> How about that? Nice. Oh. Well, you had a couple good jumps on your own. Good, he stayed. Stayed glued. Here. Let me grab him. Oh! Oh, he almost stepped right in the boat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, that's strong. 
That's a nice fish. That was a fish I saw too. A little... No, you're good. You're good. You're good. Just steer him. The way you're doing it. I'm gonna get him right here. Oh, Jesus. Every time he sees the boat. Yeah, every time he gets close. Reel a little bit. Reel a little bit, like a foot. Yeah, there you go. I think we got him. <laughs> How about that? You want to try? I mean. If you can hold them tight, here you can open oh, up. I have to do it there. Yeah, open up the bale. Open up the bale, and I'll pass you the fish. But now, what do I do with the be aware, there's likely to shake, so you gotta hold them tight. You okay. can just put the put the rod on the boat there. The How about that? Down? Yep. As long as the bale's open, we'll okay. be okay. All right. Now I'm gonna trade trade Maybe you. On this side. Yeah, you can come around the right side. Okay. There you go. How about that? What do you think? Here, he got him. Sorry, get your rod, get your rod. You're good, don't grab the line, don't grab the line. I got him. He's hooked well. <sighs> All right. I'm gonna go ahead and just get the release on him if that's okay. We got a really awesome picture of you with that fish. <laughs> how about that? All right. Beautiful fish. I can't believe how well that worked out. I'm sitting here looking for snook. Look over to my right, and there's a tarpon sitting there. Nice roll, and I threw him, and he ate. He ate the croaker. How about that? Still that's it. That's all it takes. <laughs> nice. That was exciting. That was best case that scenario. Was exciting. That was good. Well, we got Jack, Snook, Tarpon. Let's uh let's go for a giant snook. How about that? Whew. Oh. There's an absolute behemoth snook under the stock. I mean 40, 40, over 40 without a doubt. Let's see if I can lay this next to him. Giant! That's the biggest snook I've ever hooked in my life. No, oh, he's on the dock. He's gonna break me. No, no. He's gonna break me. He might swim around. Come on, get your head out. He's facing the right direction, but he—he he, he just doesn't. He's hooked, but the line's touching oysters. He doesn't know what's going on right now. He's sitting right next to the pole, but the line's rubbing against the oysters. Come on. This is a very... I might break the rod right here. All right, he's just under that dock right there. That's all we gotta get out, worry about now. That fish is in open water. That's an absolute mega snook. We're just gonna have to wiggle. That fish actually just swam into open water. So I just got the bale wide open and we're gonna sneak this fish through. When I hooked her and pulled tight, we're gonna get this fish without a doubt. When I hooked her and pulled tight, she just she just went, went up against the dock there and I went ahead and opened up the bale and she just froze dead still. But now she's in open water. Here, you might have to help me here. We're gonna have to wiggle this rod under this dock, and then after that, she's in open water. Just, <sighs> just watch behind me that the dock doesn't hit anything behind us. Okay. Watch my head. All right, she should be in open water now. She is. She's out there. She's a behemoth. Absolute mega. <sighs> had to afraid me had to have nope just <sighs> bent that hook wide open really <sighs> i mean at least i didn't break off she just beat me she beat me well, they have to win sometimes <laughs> Right? That was good though, the way you battled that dog there. <sighs> that was a, that was probably 42. Yeah, she was probably 40, 42. Bent the hook wide open after she was in open water, which really hurts because that's when we had our best opportunity to land her. Of course, she didn't break when she was rubbing against oysters, but breaks in open water. Well, it didn't really break, but bent the hook out. Yeah. Oh. 
<laughs> oh, it wasn't the big one. <laughs> it's still big. It wasn't the big one though. You see that? <laughs> they chased that fish, or they chased the croaker out of there and got a topwater eat. I knew when that croaker went sideways. Oh, look at the croakers right there. You might get blasted. Still a good fish though. I ain't complaining, but there was a bigger one right next to him. Ooh. Ooh. That ain't a bad one. Throw him on the ruler. Probably 26. Zero, 24, 25, 26, 27. Ain't bad. Good hook set. See, if I would have hooked that giant just like that, we would have been, uh, we would have got that fish to the boat, but I'm sure that fish was hooked completely different, but not a bad snook. That is a nice fish. I just wish that big one that was right next to it ate. See you, buddy. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to wrap up this video today. Um, I think we absolutely killed it. Here, let me get next to my mom here. We absolutely killed it today. We did a little bit of everything on the new boat. We hit the inlet, drifted, got some snook, jacks. You got your first snook, and uh, you got your first tarpon, and you got a jack. And I lost a giant snook, which I won't, you know, I won't forget about. That was my the highlight of my day. Unfortunately, I, I really think the hook failed me. I think I did everything perfectly, and I just lost that fish. Um, but we, uh, I say we put the boat to the test today, from the beach to the river, or well, from the from the ocean to the river. Uh, we did a little bit of everything, ran great, everything smooth. And uh, you got anything to say? How, how was fishing with me? I loved it. Yeah? I loved it. Thanks for letting me reel in those. Um, big uh big boys and <laughs> i'm super proud of you you've come such a long way from your spongebob uh <laughs> your first uh fishing rod and reel from spongebob and i'm really proud of you and thank you for taking me out i had a great time <laughs> thank you so that is yeah that's a big deal with this boat now i can bring people i can bring my mom i can bring my dad i can bring friends family you know it's just really exciting to not be in a little ginu anymore but i still will be making ginu videos so stay tuned for that i'm not going anywhere on that uh that side of things but if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel please hit the subscribe button and also hit the uh hit the bell notification it'll basically give you notifications when i upload if you don't do that you may or not know when i upload and you may never be seeing my videos you may be missing a bunch but that is it for today, guys. I will see you guys in that next video.